building? Norton. Norton. I pull up right here. Okay. It's the first step to true independence. Welcome. Checking in today? Yeah. Great. Fill one of these out for me. To experience new freedom from mom and dad. The transition from home to college is the subject of a new study at Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, prompted in part by a survey of college counseling directors. We've learned that between 25 and 33 percent of college students are now entering taking a psychotropic medication. Medication to treat a range of conditions, from depression and anxiety to attention deficit disorder. So why the high numbers? It was really in the 90s that there was a, uh, an increased use of psychotropic treatment with adolescents. So we're now getting those kids in college who've been on psychiatric medications for the first time. And so the big question is, how are students managing their mental illness once they get to college? Medication is something that is similar to brushing your teeth every day because it's something that has to happen every day in order to, to achieve the effectiveness uh, that's hoped for. But college is a time to test the waters and to ask questions. Do I know, can I articulate why I need them or am I taking them because my mother wants me to take them or my father wants me to take them? So some students adjust their medications or stop taking them altogether. It's hard, I, I imagine, for parents to let their son or daughter make a decision about a medication. But it may be one of the important steps toward developing a sense of autonomy and independence and responsibility. Counselors say students should know it's okay to want to experiment, but suggest they reach out to professionals for guidance. Information from the two-year study will guide campuses in providing mental health services for the growing number of students seeking help.